to be poor is to be truly poor. To possess nothing. Ravaged by misery, illiteracy and deplorable hygiene. They say with a generous smile, such is life. We have lived side by side with people who were materially poor, but possess an unimaginable spiritual richness. I put my motivation to, to do some things for, for kids, because before I never did that, and I think it will be my motivation to keep going on the road. I know we can do some things for, for children. We feel not only obligated, but privileged. It's just a privilege to be alive at a time, at a place where we can do this. We came across a father, his young spouse, his son, and his two-year-old little girl traveling with some donkeys. Two years ago, they left Dakar, the capital of Senegal, for an unknown destination. The young boy makes me think of a little prince. I offer him a plush toy and he thanks me with a nod of his noble head. We separate, but in my heart I will never forget this wandering family in search of another life. We all need motivation to do incredible feats of distance running. And using a charity as, as what gets you out there every day, what gets you out of bed, which gets you through 26 miles a day, is a very, very important thing. And if challenges are there, Serge is certainly the man to tackle him. Um, he'll certainly have no, no lack of courage in terms of going out and trying to find the solution. The best remembrance, it's only one thing, it's the smiling for the kids. That's incredible, fantastic. They are amazing. They, uh, it's emotional experience. I feel they're all the time smiling and dancing, even if they are really cool. <laughs>